Alright then, hello, um, I'm Larissa Lust, and I'm going to help you with Vampire Night cosplays, yay, I sound American, um, <clears throat> now, the thing is, uh, not many videos exist of actually making Vampire Night day class, night class, whatever, cosplay. And I think I figured out why. <laughs> I've spent almost two hours on doing, like, this one um, decorative piece. And that's quite a lot. <laughs> Especially if it's something that looks as simple as this. So, um... Yeah. Now, what I did to make it w a little bit easier was I marked the lines with Taylor Chalk, my best friend in the world at the moment. And then I used this. Uh, this is actually a calendar, an advent calendar, but it has a straight edge and I can't find a ruler at the moment. And what I did as well was I folded a... Um, bag in like a square bag in half you could probably like do one of those origami paper things and then fold that in half i don't know be inventive and then like that's what i did just to get it as a straight edge and by doing that it also means that most of the edges match so we get little triangles, yay! Um, another thing you will probably notice is that I've got loads of these on them. Basically, uh, this is like half biased binding, and it's still rather big for what I needed it. So I halved it, and these little like um, are they crocodile clips. Kirby grips? Oh, I don't know what what people call them. Anyway, these things. Yeah, I'm using them to keep like the thing folded. This is actually really difficult with one hand. Yeah. So I'm using it to keep the thing folded. Um. What else can I say? Uh. If you're having trouble with, like, making the lines look mirrored on each side, then fold the sleeve in half, and then fold the other one in half too, and then you get kind of a um, mirror one. So, if you've got the first one right, then just do the same to the other one. I don't even know if I'm going to put this on YouTube, because it's turning out really messy. Anyway, uh, and that's what I did, just to give a little bit more of a mirrored effect, really. And another thing that my mum pointed out, yeah, my mum, <laughs> is that it actually gets narrower when you go like, further down the sleeve to the cuff. In my opinion, that looks okay. Uh, another thing. Reference pictures. And tape measure. Tape measure is amazing when trying to find out how much binding you need. That's all my working out for binding. It's really rubbish drawings and all that. Uh, I ended up needing, like, six metres of it. And I don't even know if I'll have enough. Reference pictures, they're wonderful. Um, yeah. Uh, changes that I made. Um, at the moment, most um, factories that make this cosplay, or costume, as it may be, 
they put um, buttons on each side because they're meant to be little um, poppers. Uh, if you don't know what I mean by a popper, then I have one in here. But I could not find, for the life of me, rose poppers. I don't even know where anyone got them from because I couldn't find them at all. Yeah, this is my little button collection thing. I love it. Yeah, these are poppers. Hold on. There you go. It... That's like what a popper is, really. Right. I found one of these. And that was just in my little collection. So God knows how I'd be able to find like four rose ones. But these things are actually really neat. They're really cool. Because um, you just like pop them on and they're cool. So yeah. I'm going to shut up now about the popping things. Uh, most of this been, has been umming and ahhing. First YouTube video. Yay! Anyway. Um, another thing that I would suggest is buying all the binders, uh, the bias binding first. Because, like, I don't know about you guys, but that gives me a little bit more of an incentive to finish it. Because, like, I did the, um, the, uh, cuffs, and then I did the collar, and then, like, uh, that was it for ages. Obviously, it wasn't a um, really like big amount of time. It never does. But yeah. And another thing, if you can't get the like little um, collar bit right here, I put like a um, popper in there, and it kind of like makes the ribbon less bulky that she wears around her neck. I'm not sure how well you ca guys can see that, but yeah. Um, another thing, uh, I personally got given a um, disciplinary br brigade association, a uh, disciplinary whatever badge, armband whatever. Oh, I stop saying whatever. Um, I got given this, so I thought, because usually I would have attempted to make this, but looking at it, I'm not sure how you would have made it. But, yeah. So that made life easier. If someone does know how to make this, tell me. Myself! My camera! Now I'm gonna have to like edit that out. Fun! I'm not even sure how I'm gonna do that. Uh, but yeah. Um, another thing. This little flap thing. I didn't even know she had it until I looked at the cosplays. And I'm kind of debating putting it in. Because, like, it just looks really scruffy to me. Like, obviously I understand the, uh, not. It gives it more, like, puff or something like that. But, yeah, it just looks really weird. Um, the ruffles I intend to do, but I'm not sure how. Um, right, now that is it. That's basically all I've got. Um, I actually have, like, uh, my socks, my over-the-knee socks, skirt, shirt, and a ribbon, a neck ribbon, somewhere around here. Um, I'm probably sat on it. Uh, it should be here, and it's not.
I excuse, uh, please excuse the mess. I'm not even sure if you saw that, but you know. Uh, where is the ribbon? I'm trying to keep you like, aha, there's the ribbon. Sorry, that's my um sewing box that my mum gave me. I'm sure she doesn't even, she's never used it, but oh well. Yeah, but that's my ribbon. I'm actually contemplating getting, like, a pre-made bow and then sticking it on the end, on, like, a ribbon and then velcroing it where it connects to the bow. Just so it, like, uh, is a little bit easier to put on and off because I have to, like, untie it and retie it. It gets very boring. And as does my voice. So, hopefully I will see you guys again when I have made a little bit more headway. Bye!